I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin, author of three books about succulents. In this video and the corresponding page of my site, you'll get expert advice and info about agaves in bloom. You'll learn how to start new plants from the resulting seeds or bulbils. And to help you know which agave you have and what to expect, I'll show you over 20 different varieties in bloom, all labeled. Agave flower stalks tend to be impressively tall relative to the plants. There are two forms, unbranched with blooms along the stalk and branching with clusters of flowers. Flowers form seed pods or bulbils that are clones of the mother plant. There's no stopping an agave from dying when it blooms, so you might as well enjoy the show. Flowers attract hummingbirds, bees, and other pollinators. However, cutting off the stalk does slow the process, and by doing so, you won't have to deal with a tree later on. I think you're about a minute to slice through an agave bloom stalk. It can take years, sometimes decades, depending on what kind it is, for an agave to bloom, typically 15 to 25 years. Some go off sooner, notably agave desmetiana and agave vilmariniana. Some take longer, like agave victoriae reginae. The flower stalk grows quickly, up to several inches a day. How can you tell when your agave is starting to bloom? Leaves in the middle come together, sort of like praying hands. They surround an emerging bud atop an ever-lengthening stalk. Large agaves may produce stalks up to 30 feet tall. Buds form, then flowers that open from the bottom of the stalk to the top. If you want baby plants, wait several months for the bloom stalk to mature, then harvest bulbils or seeds. Agave expert Jeremy Spath of Hidden Agave Nursery explains how to start seeds and bulbils. Even though for Cray is not an agave, they're very closely related and it works the same. But let me see if this one's even rooted yet. Nope. Uh, it's a week. Oh, just a week. Or a week okay. and a half, yeah. But I just stick them right there, just in the dirt like that. You could have a whole large pot and fill it with soil and stick tons of them in that, in that one pot. Is there a time of the year, I would think, right before the rainy season? I, I don't think it matters. Okay. I think with this kind of plant, it doesn't matter. And you don't even need to wait for them to get to a large size. I mean, as you can see, there's some really small ones in here. You know, you'd actually do them more harm than good by being too careful and oh. worrying about it. I mean, I would just yeah. just yeah. put them in a potting mix and stick them in there and forget about them or keep it moist Yeah. and just wait. Pretend you're Mother Nature. Right, right. Step on them. <laughs> <laughs> Growing agaves from seeds is pretty easy. They're really tough. Do you keep your seeds uh, in these little envelopes? Then? Yeah, like a coin envelope. It says Parasana crossed with um, Perii truncata. Okay. So that's a, this is a hybrid I did. Usually, if you pollinate an agave, you're about six months away from, from the fruit ripening after you pollinate. Parasana was the mother. So it is like making a pizza. Now, you, now you're adding the Parmesan. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, exactly. And this is dry mix. I mean, it's slightly moist. It's but... it's dry. You could you could you could use either. You could use a dry or a or a wet. Because I'm just gonna water it in after this. Okay. And this I get at um, a roofing supply store here oh, in San Marcos. Yeah. It's just roofing grit. Okay. They, you can get almost the identical stuff sold as chicken grit. Uh huh. You know, and um, very lightly sprinkle it across the top. Oh, that anchors everything down. Anchors it down, it, yeah, it, and um, and you don't want to use too much because you can you can suffocate your seed. Ah. So, okay. just a little like that. You kind of want a gentle rain effect, you know? Uh-huh. Because if you just turn it, if I go up to it and I go, okay, it's time to water it and turn it on, usually you get this gust of, of water and you, you blast sure. your seed to kingdom come. So, but just going back and forth like this, 
and let the water sink in and stop and do it repeatedly until your soil is totally soaked. Oh, all right. And then I, you know, and then I check it every day. And any time that the, the, the tops, the, the surface starts to look a little dry, I water it again. Uh -huh. And that's it. And then it takes usually about, well, depending on how fresh or old your seed is, about five to 14 days for the For, for the germination? Seed to germinate. Oh, that's yeah. exciting then. Yeah, oh. yeah. quick. To remove a dead or dying agave, saw the leaves off so all you have left is a core that looks like a pineapple. The core is heavy, so let it dry until you can lift and transport it. Watch out for sharp teeth along the leaves and points at their tips. 
Some people have a severe allergic reaction to agave sap. Wear wraparound glasses and protect your skin. Wear leather gloves, long sleeves, and trousers. Use a hand saw. A power saw may spray caustic sap. Take your time and don't wipe your face with your sleeves or other parts of your clothing that may have bits of the plant or the sap on them. I hope you found this video helpful. Learn more in the corresponding page of my website. As always, my goal is to help you use and enjoy succulents in your own garden and landscape. Please know I appreciate your comments, and do subscribe and hit the like button. I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin. Thank you for joining me.